Thank you very much, Muchísimas Mr. gracias, señor presidente. Your Excellencies, distinguished delegates, Distinguidos delegados, ladies señor and gentlemen. presidente, damas y caballeros. Thank you for giving Muchísimas the floor to the stakeholder group for all the people. Este Today, for the first time, vez, all the people have been officially included and recognized by member states as a key stakeholder group at the global platform on the People globally, thank you. All the people globally would like to thank you for this and hope this inclusive outlook towards all the people will continue. But why is our inclusion so important? It is for all the people's rights and also for the greater achievement of DRA strategies and actions more broadly. We live in an aging world exposed to increasing disaster risk. Today, about 12% of the world's population is aged 60 and over. In just four years' time, the number of older people will surpass 1 billion. Yes, 1 billion. By 2030, there will be nearly as many people above 60 and over as children under 16. By 2050, it is estimated that 80% of the world's older people will live in low and middle income countries. If we as a global community wish to achieve the ambitions of the Sendai framework and beyond, we must consider the changing character of the global population as well as the rest. Older people are disproportionately impacted by disasters to an alarming level. We are the face of your human loss data. 74% of the deaths related to Hurricane Katrina in the U.S. were people above 60 against 14% local population. Over 55% of those who died in Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines were older people this find making up only 8% of the local population. All the people's right to safety and life are no different to anyone else in society. It is not acceptable for the high incidence of all the people's death in disasters to continue to be reviewed as an inevitable norm, not when there is so much that can be done about it. However, the capacity and resourcefulness of all the people, which is readily available in all the countries, is often forgotten or ignored. All the people have lived life and have years of experience. This wealth of knowledge, experience, insight, hindsight are invaluable in understanding and responding to disaster risks as we look to the future. All the people's social capacity is key to bringing communities together and learning across generations to create fully inclusive DRR strategies. This is, a clear, this is clear, certainly, though, that if all goes well, all of you in this room will one day be sitting in the older people's stakeholder group. Everyone here today will experience the greatest impacts of climate change and increased disaster risk post-2050, not as you are today, but as an older person. We in this room are aging, as is the world around us. Three things in the stakeholder group on aging as member states and UNISDR. First, to set up an inclusivity monitoring framework to ensure the inclusion of older women and men, persons with disabilities, and other interest groups in the targets for ongoing monitoring of the effective implementation of the Sendai framework. Ensure progress is for all, not just for some. Second, age, gender, and disability disaggregated data set in free crisis situation on disaster loss and those benefiting from disaster actions must be non-negotiable to ensure the real impacts of disasters are no longer hidden but recorded and actions taken based on the evidence. And third, work with this stakeholder group and Helpage International to support you for meaningful inclusion of women and men 
and persons with disabilities in your DRR policies, planning, operations, and monitoring. We are here to support. Let us work together. Thank you all on behalf of all the people globally for this opportunity to address this distinguished gathering today. Thank you, Mr. Paul, for Gracias.